How's it going guys? It's been a little while, so thought I'd give you a bit of an update. Um, we have been busy here. You probably can not tell a whole lot, um, but a lot of the things that we've been doing is getting the equipment ready. Uh, I'm still waiting on a few uh, parts to come in for the dust collection so we can go ahead and uh, once we get started on that, we can uh, get that knocked out. Um, so we've been, like I said, kind of focused on restoration of uh, a lot of uh, the equipment that I have. Um, so just kind of a broad overview here, starting to get some equipment in place. And that's kind of an important thing before you go uh, to set up your dust collection anyway, is to kind of lay out your equipment, actually see what type of space that you're gonna to have to walk around it, um, whether you'll be able to uh, have uh, assembly tables around it, off feed, uh, things like that. The configuration that I'm going to be doing, you know, in the, the center, uh, I've spoke about it in my other videos, but it's going to be the four piece uh, configuration with off feeds going in different directions. But you can see, I actually have done a couple of videos on uh, restoring some of this equipment but like the um, the shaper we've got it pretty much ready to rock um, you know all of this was rust uh, from being stored in a damp environment we busted all of that down cleaned it all um, it's all ready have my little table saw here um, same thing with it uh, joiner We've got it looking nice, ready to roll. Sander. Um, do need to get some sanding um, for the drum sander. I have to uh, to order some some of the roll paper um, for it. And right now, the current project is my lathe. I have it busted apart and you can see the rust have it soaking uh, with some wd but i'll get that all cleaned up um, and looking like the other equipment so and to give you an idea about what it looks like when it comes in i'm transferring it from a previous uh, shop it looks like this so a lot of work but it's worth it um, let's see starting to get more of my um, dust collection in this is a small dust collector from uh, rockler that they had sent me um, i'll have a video on that uh, and the, all of the attachments that goes with that uh, that little dust collector is actually really handy uh, for for smaller tools, uh, any hand tools with any type of uh, dust port. I mean, it's, it's pretty awesome. It fits onto about anything. And you can see all of the, the dust collection stuff that's just waiting. Have all of my piping. Um, it's all outside. May have mentioned before, but I'm wanting to try to go from a six inch trunk line uh, with four inch drop downs to the machines. Um, but I'm wanting to try to get uh, as much uh, suction as possible. Most of these dust collectors, they split right at the, um, the intake uh, for the dust. They split down into dual four inch, uh, but come out as a six inch. So I'm going to try to revamp that I actually run the six inch trunk line and then drop down, do my splits, things like that. But they're, you know, they're, they're really powerful. Um, this is one kind of example of kind of the size. That's a tw uh, two horsepower. Um, it does a lot. I actually have it plugged in. Let me kick it on here. <laughs> So 
as loud as that is, and to think that I may have a couple of those going, that's what gave me the idea of having this side room. Um, again, originally it was going to be just a 10 by 10. It was going to be dust collection, air compressor, um, all of the really noisy things, you know, off to the self. Um, you know, keep the noise down in the mill, uh, help to protect your hearing, and then for content creation, you know, it's kind of hard to speak over something like that. So, the plan is, is on this wall, this is where we'll have our dust collection um, and the, the air compressor, possibly going out into the shop here. Uh, we'll just have to see how all that works out. But the rest of this, and this is what we've been working on as well, getting it framed up, electricity ran. Uh, it's gonna be kind of the, maybe chill area. Uh, like I said, maybe a spray booth. I don't know uh, just yet. Uh, refrigerator in there for sure. But the most important addition that I have added is thinking chair. So when my legs get tired and my bones are starting to ache a little bit, I can kick back in my thinking chair, look around, figure out what needs to be done next, get a little overwhelmed, and do it. But anyway, so uh, that's basically about where we're at right now. Um, like anything else, Feels like it's uh, moving very slow, but we're getting a lot uh, accomplished um, in a pretty short amount of time for, you know, only a couple of people working on this place and doing most of it ourselves. Um, so again, if you guys have any questions about anything, any any ideas, anything like that, that um, that may may help me out, you know, just let me know. Um, Monitor saw will not be there, just FYI. Did get the garage door uh, opener installed since we last spoke. Miter saw station will be set up here between these two windows um, with the plans for overhead drop down, dust collection, all that good stuff. And then the fans, I think we've talked about that in the past too. I'm gonna put those most likely up into the rafters uh, for uh, winter time uh, pushing the heat back down but um, that's it guys um, again if you guys think of anything at all let me know um, you know I'm pretty thick skinned so if you see something wrong you see something that could be done better um, I'm all ears so thanks for watching uh, stay tuned. We're going to have this thing fired up and ready to rock uh, before you know it. So there's going to be some awesome stuff coming out of this place. So stay tuned, guys. Thanks for watching. See ya.